Welcome to Science and Technology Briefing. The content of the briefing includes Alibaba leads record deal to create $2.5 billion China AI firm. Apple and Tesla veterans aim to help Japan design AI chips. HPE taps Saudi Arabia as it extends its production footprint. Mizuho courting India elite shows Japan Bank's global ambition. Chocolate and cosmetics face price jolt from cocoa supply chain law. Alibaba leads record deal to create $2.5 billion China AI firm. Bloomberg. Alibaba has led a $1 billion funding round for Chinese artificial intelligence, AI, startup Moonshot AI. The funding round, which also included monolith management, raised Moonshot AI's valuation eightfold to $2.5 billion. Moonshot AI, which was founded in March 2023, is one of China's most prominent AI startups and is developing generative AI to compete with OpenAI and Google. Alibaba's investment in AI comes as the company's new leaders, Joseph Tsai and Eddie Wu, seek to revive the company following two years of regulatory scrutiny and an economic downturn. Apple and Tesla veterans aim to help Japan design AI chips. Bloomberg. A Japan government-backed research group focused on semiconductor development will collaborate with U.S. startup Tens Torrent on the design of its first advanced AI chip. Tens Torrent, led by Tesla and Apple veteran Jim Keller will license its design for part of Japan's Artificial Intelligence Accelerator and co-design the overall chip. Tense Torrent aims to provide an alternative to NVIDIA and ARM Holdings, using the open-source RISC-V standard. The collaboration has the potential to advance Japan's bid to reclaim a central role in the semiconductor industry. The jointly designed AI chips will be produced at government-backed startup Rapidus. HPE taps Saudi Arabia as it extends its production footprint. Nikkei Asia Hewlett Packard Enterprise, HPE, has begun manufacturing servers in Saudi Arabia in order to meet onshore production demand from the Middle East and increase supply chain resilience, according to CEO Antonio Neri. The move follows HPE's announcement in July that it would begin manufacturing servers in India. Neri said HPE is also in discussions with suppliers to diversify production at the component level. He noted that while cloud service providers and AI startups currently drive demand for servers, enterprise users will likely adopt AI-centric servers more slowly as they are not developing models themselves. Mizuho Courting India Elite shows Japan Bank's global ambition. Bloomberg. Mizuho Financial Group, Japan's third-largest bank by assets, is increasing its presence in India, as it looks to compete with global banks seeking alternatives to China. Mizuho has held its annual awards ceremony, attended by more than 150 executives, including representatives from companies backed by Mikesh Ambani and Gautam Adani, in Mumbai's luxury St. Regis Hotel. The bank recently announced its largest ever acquisition in India. Mitsubishi UFJ Financial Group and Sumitomo Mitsui Financial Group, Mizuho's larger Japanese peers, are already among the top arrangers of Indian offshore loans. Chocolate and cosmetics face price jolt from cocoa supply chain law. Bloomberg. Starting on December 30, chocolate producers will have to show the European Union, EU, that their imports have not contributed to deforestation elsewhere. The regulation applies to cocoa and other products including timber, palm oil, cattle, and coffee. The sector is already under pressure from declining production and record prices for futures. The European Cocoa Association Industry Group's president, Paul Davis, said there is a gun to our head to set up systems and get ready. We expect disruption for about one to two years, and that could mean higher pricing in Europe. The EU is the biggest buyer from the Ivory Coast and Ghana. Companies will have to list the GPS coordinates of the farms where the cocoa was grown. The deforestation regulation also applies to products such as leather and furniture, and without it, about 248,000 hectares of forest would be lost every year by 2030, according to the EU. It's dangerous to shrug off a long war. Bloomberg. The ongoing conflict in Ukraine has not had as significant an impact on the Russian economy as initially feared. Despite Western-imposed sanctions, Russia has managed to find business partners in the East, particularly China and India, which have helped to alleviate some of the economic burden. Additionally, Russia has not been able to inflict the level of economic damage on Europe that was expected, with natural gas prices now back to pre-war levels. This situation, however, is not without risks. Declining commodity prices and rising container freight rates globally are concerning indicators for the market. The war in Ukraine has also had a significant impact on the country's economy, with massive infrastructure damage and a loss of troops. Ukraine is also struggling to secure aid from the US, with concerns growing about how long it can sustain the conflict. If the war were to end, the consequences would be deep, and the EU would likely struggle to fill the gap left by US aid. 
the outcome of the upcoming U.S. presidential election is likely to have an impact on the situation, with a Trump victory potentially fast-tracking an end to hostilities. Social media companies, particularly in the U.S., are facing increased pressure for regulation. The issue of free speech versus harmful content is being debated in the Supreme Court, with implications for the industry and society as a whole. The outcome of the case is uncertain and could have wide-ranging effects. Stock market today, Asian shares mixed after Wall ST edges back from recent highs. Associated Press. Asian shares were mixed on Tuesday after U.S. stocks edged back from their record heights. Traders are growing cautious after the New Year's rally that has swept much of the world's markets. Hong Kong's Hang Seng fell 0.2% to 16,595.29 and the Shanghai Composite rose 0.7% at 2,996.87. Chinese scientists identify Milky Way origin for ultra-high-energy cosmic rays. South China Morning Post. Scientists at an observatory in China have discovered a super-cosmic ray accelerator, which could change understanding of the origin and source of cosmic rays in our galaxy. The discovery of a bubble-like structure in the Cygnus constellation challenges previous theories about the origin of ultra-high-energy gamma rays, suggesting they may have originated within the Milky Way. The researchers found that a massive star cluster called Cygnus OB2 may be the super-cosmic ray accelerator injecting cosmic rays into interstellar space. The discovery may help solve the mystery of the origin of cosmic rays. Hello, I'm Dr. Six, your resident observer from the Six Degrees world. Today, I bring you a mix of news from the technology, finance, and environmental sectors. First up, Alibaba, the e-commerce giant, has led a $1 billion funding round for Chinese AI startup Moonshot AI. This investment comes as Alibaba seeks to revive the company following regulatory scrutiny and an economic downturn. In another AI-related news, a Japan government-backed research group is collaborating with US startup Tense Torrent to design advanced AI chips. This collaboration has the potential to advance Japan's bid to reclaim a central role in the semiconductor industry. In the finance sector, Mizuho Financial Group, Japan's third-largest bank, is increasing its presence in India to compete with global banks seeking alternatives to China. On the environmental front, chocolate producers will have to show the European Union that their imports have not contributed to deforestation. This new regulation aims to protect forests and could potentially lead to higher prices for chocolate in Europe. Moving on to geopolitics, the ongoing conflict in Ukraine has not had as significant an impact on the Russian economy as initially feared. However, declining commodity prices and rising container freight rates globally are concerning indicators for the market. The war in Ukraine has also had a significant impact on the country's economy, with infrastructure damage and a loss of troops. The outcome of the upcoming U.S. presidential election could have an impact on the situation. In the technology sector, social media companies, particularly in the U.S., are facing increased pressure for regulation. The issue of free speech versus harmful content is being debated in the Supreme Court, with wide-ranging implications. Lastly, in the stock market, Asian shares were mixed after U.S. stocks edged back from their record heights. Traders are growing cautious after the New Year's rally that has swept much of the world's markets. Now, let's dive deeper into these stories. The investments in AI by Alibaba and the collaboration between the Japan Research Group and Tense Torrent show the increasing importance of AI in various industries. It's a race to develop cutting-edge technology and gain a competitive edge. As for Mizuho's expansion in India, it's an interesting move to counter China's dominance in the finance sector. It will be fascinating to see how this competition unfolds. The regulation on chocolate imports in the EU is a step towards protecting the environment but it also presents challenges for chocolate producers. We might see higher prices for chocolate in the near future. In geopolitics, the situation in Ukraine is complex. While the impact on the Russian economy might not be as severe as expected, there are still risks involved, especially with declining commodity prices and rising freight rates. The pressure for regulation on social media companies is a hot topic. Balancing free speech and harmful content is a challenge, and the Supreme Court case will have far-reaching effects. Lastly, the mixed performance of Asian shares after the New Year's rally indicates cautiousness among traders. It's always important to monitor the market closely. That's it for today's news. Now, it's your turn. What are your thoughts on these topics? Do you have any questions? Let's discuss. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide.
we encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 do brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 do brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6 Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 Do Brief via email.